Where's the patient? Chandra, you should have known that she got discharged. That is great news. Were there any complications? She flatlined for a brief moment. She what? She flatlined. What happened next? Well, we managed to get her heartbeat back. Did you use a defibrillator after? Well, we had to. To return the regular beat. Oh no. Is everything okay, Nurse Chandra? Wait, God is Vara? Can you drop this? I now know who you are. You sound concerned. Did we do something wrong? Yes, you did. You shouldn't have provided her with electric assistance. She would have returned normally. She was safe. I guess Christina didn't complete her research as well as she should have. So what happened to her? Have you noticed her behavior change recently? I figured that was the result of her amnesia. Oh no. What's wrong? Normal medication can potentially cause complications. The electric pulse could have merged her two personalities together. Her two. Her true self and corruption. Uh, yes, an incompetent girl's mistake. I maintain partial control of this vessel. But I still have control of the one thing you want, and that's my magic. Insolent child, you're such a fool! You still have no memories, and your personality has changed. Because of me. Face it, sweetheart. As soon as I see my master again, this body and your magic is mine. I know I can break through this. You're dead, sweetheart. Besides, how do you know that your master will be able to see you again? He's probably rotting in some prison cell or dead after all he did to attempt to mess with a guardian bloodline? Oh, darling, if only you knew. I can sense my master. Then I guess it's a race. A race I will win. A race that I need to win. As we begin our approach, please make sure that all seats are in the upright position and trays are put away. Welcome, welcome to the beautiful sandy beaches of Isla Amor. Now, where is Heike and Emil? What? What is this? Why are we being singled out? Why, you are the happy couple and all. Mr. and Mrs. Shams, it's such a pleasure to meet you. What? You two just got married and are on your honeymoon. Honey? Moon? Oh, somebody's not gonna live to see tomorrow! I'm sorry, but I'm not married to this guy. I mean, his name is Emily. It's Emil! Yeah, Emily. Look, sir, there must have been some sort of mix-up. It says clearly on the paperwork. Emil, can I speak with you? Yes, I'd like to speak to you too as well, my friend. I may or may not have lied, saying you and Heike were married. So, hold on. You lied about a girl who doesn't even remember who I am, then said we're married to the guy, yet let alone, let alone 
She can't even say my name right. M maybe. This is either a yes or a no question, Sarah. Sheesh, I'm sorry. Look, I'm here because the advertiser said it was a good idea. For what? To get her memories? Not necessarily. <sighs> Emil, you might be right about Alec. I'm starting to see it. Talk you long enough. I... I'm sorry. I feel horrible. Look, if you want to wrap me out and go home, that's fine. I'll play along because A, you're my sister, and B, I want to help you catch Alec. And C, we're already here, the damage is done, Wh but why the elaborate setup though? Our pen up. If I can prove he's a cheating jerk, I can get out of it. He would forfeit. Fine, I'll play along. Thank you, Emil. Is there a problem, Mr. Deschamps? Fine, uh, wait, we're fine. No, I'm fine. Just setting up a surprise for my... wife. Wait, are we actually married? You must, you must ignore my new wife. She had an accident and has unfortunately suffered a traumatic brain injury, and her memory has been completely wiped. I'm so sorry to hear about your wife. Yes, well you see, it was a horrible ordeal. We had to put it off our honeymoon. This is all kind of making sense now. And she is already gaining back a couple of her memories. Wonderful to see. Well, your wedding party can send into the hotel. We have a special villa for our newlyweds. It's a good thing she's family. Here we are. Wow, it's so nice. I'm glad you like it, Mrs. Deschamps. Here's the key. If there's an issue, let me know at the front desk. Yes, my good sir. Just call me Grayson. Sure, Grayson. So tell me, Emily, you need to fill me in on this wedding. Oh, right. Forget I ever said that. So, are we even married? She already caught on? I see you sweating thinking of an answer. I feel like we're lying for some reason. At least you're so sharp. Come on, Emily. If you're just honest with me... For some reason, I want to help. Alright, look. Sarah needs to catch my loser brother-in-law. Why? I've been cheating on her for years, and she's finally catching on. What? That's horrible! Yeah, it is. Alec is a bit of a jerk, too. What juicy information. 
Too bad you'll be in hell before it becomes of use. Darling, I'm you. You'll never get rid of me. You aren't me. You're some over-exaggerated evil version of me. You're right. Being such a goody-goody would be so annoying. Please, someone has to realize that this whole I have amnesia is some facade. Oh, that's what you think. Heike, are you okay? You seem distracted. Hmm? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Your brother-in-law sounds like such a pain. Trust me, he is. I'm gonna take our bags upstairs. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Sure. What in the... You forgot. I have control of my physical aspects and my core. Physical responses count, and that's how I'll show him. Good luck trying to get to Nate. If you even can. I can feel Master. He's here. What? Are you upset that you didn't get a room with Loverboy? What? No, we're not even at such a point in our relationship where we would, um... Share a bed? Yes. Come on, really? Yeah. Alright. Well, let's see our room. I thought this was some luxury resort. Excuse me, sir. Yes, ma'am? Is there a problem? Um, yes. Can you explain why this room is... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My friend is wanting to ask why our room only has a bed. Let alone the fact it looks like it hasn't been touched in months. Years, even. I'm sorry if this frustrates you. I can bring you a car if need be. What about the condition of our room? I'm sorry, ma'am, but this generally is an unused wing of our resort. We overflowed this season. So you're telling me we're stuck here the entire summer? Who knows, miss? Once a better room is open, we will accommodate our needs. I'm sorry, but we're the bride's friends, so I don't think she'll be thrilled to see this is how her wedding party is treated. <laughs> as far as I know, the bride has no clue who you are, so good luck with that. Ugh, such a jerk. It's fine. I mean, at least we have a room. It's not just about the bed. I felt so much like my dad just now. Excuse me, ma'am. This is inexcusable. I'm sorry, is there an issue? Actually, yes. Our TV only has 132 channels. None of them are in HD, or even good. I... um... I paid a fortune for this room. And you're telling me there is nothing good to watch on my TV or educational for my princess. Daddy, I don't care about that. I just want to go swimming. A girl of your social status cannot swim among poor people. Then what's the point of going to a beach resort? This is a romantic place to meet your future fiancé, the one you will marry when you turn 18. But boys are icky. By the time you're 18, you won't think that way, darling. Now, about those channels. I'll see what I can do, sir. That is what I'm talking about. Now, come on, princess. Yes, daddy. Now, 
I'm not paid enough for snobs. Yeah, but that's just a stuck-up rich guy being wealthy and full of himself. But still, I never complained. Let alone use the fact that they think Heike's married. But this is reasonable. A whole room was neglected. I just... I never really complain about anything, just happy with what I get. When I got the main job, you just started and Heike was beginning to trust me. The pay wasn't great, let alone as much as I would get from my father as allowance. But hey, at least you're a good person. Your dad just sounds like a jerk. Thing is, he was a good person. Before I started seeking my own independence, then he changed. Alright. Well, I'm to head to the front desk to see if they can help us. This is horrible. Okay, Rose. Uh, how inconsiderate! What? They only have two outlets in the bathroom! And why is that a big deal? Clearly, I need six, and I'm too short. Alright, sure. Why can't we just have a hotel room you're happy with? No need to be such high maintenance. Ugh, whatever. I'm gonna go talk to the desk. Sure, whatever. Thank you.